Hi there, welcome to Jeb Adams. And what I have here today <laughs> is a strainer. And I'm going to be using it in a few minutes or even before to get these feet from the Elna SU62C Supermatic. Get these uh, out of here. So we'll do that right away. What I'll do is I'll just pour the... Hey, didn't want to pour it on the counter. There, we'll just pour the crud cutter in there. Let me mop that up a little with this sponge. There, so we've saved the crud cutter. And now I'm just going to wash those out in water. And now, I'm going to take these parts. What I have here is uh, some motor parts, the sleeves and the, the nuts and the long screws. There's the, the long nuts. There's the sleeves that the, the brushes go in. I'm not going to put that in the crud cutter because that's kind of a fiber. What I do want to show you is this is the, the bottom bearing. And it's, I don't know whether to call that a spring or a spring bushing or a bushing, but it's kind of all three. So I'm going to put that in the crud cutter for about five minutes. While I've got that in there, I'm just gonna wash this out. Okay. Now I've got this ball bearing bearing. Oh, don't, gee whiz, I better Put that plug in so I don't drop anything down the drain. Good idea, Jeb. So that looks like it's coming clean. Okay, I'm just going to grab some Q-tips right now. Are you guys still with me? Are you having fun? Did you subscribe yet? Please and thank you. And like. Turn notifications on, comment. Okay, I got a Q-tip now. What'd we get? We got some dirt out of there. We got a little bit of crud out of there. Well, there's still a little more there, but it's, at least it's invisible now. <laughs> it's on the inside there, we can't see it. No, so it's come pretty clean. So, I'm just going to throw that down there. This one. Okay, that's a little grimy. See, I have some crud cutter in a spray bottle, so... Well, that's not too bad there. Well, we got in some corners, I guess. There. You know what? I'm just going to take them all out of there. Let them kind of drip dry there while I look after them. So I'll put the crud cutter back over there. Now that was pretty clean. Didn't get too much gunk off the. Well, maybe got more than I thought. I don't know. Ah, yes, now this guy. So there's still a fair bit of gunk on him that we're getting off right now. He's coming clean. Indeed he do. Where's something I can point with? I'll point with this. There's a slight difference on this side. There's a, a depression, and you can see it. It's a vertical line that goes from 
along that side. It's not the same on the other side. Let me turn it this way, see if we can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, right there. So that's interesting. And why is that interesting? Because I want to know of that what that means for this. Do I have to line this up a certain way to, you know, drive with that thing? Anyway, let me get a sponge. And now I'm going to take them over to the hair dryer and I'm going to give them a blast as well. There, now I've got them done. I'm just going to put them over there. And I'm going to get this and this and this and this and this. I'm going to put some water and this detergent in here, like lots of this detergent. There. Now I'll be right back. You know what? I'm going to can this right there. And that'll be the end of the first part.